Russell, a climate scientist from the Union of Concerned Scientists, and from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Joe Bistardi, meteorologist at Weather Bell Analytics. All right, Joe, I'll begin with you because I know you don't believe in the global warming deal. Um, however, the storms are very, very fierce, and you say? That's stunningly ignorant or stunningly deceptive, what Al Gore said. In the 1950s, from 1954 to 1960, 10 major hurricanes ran the eastern seaboard. Six hit the Carolinas northward in two years in 54-55, including Connie and Diane, which caused unbelievable flooding in 1955. Hurricane Carol, 1954, 15 feet of water up Narragansett Bay. The 1938 hurricane, which had a 186-mile-an-hour wind gust at Blue Hill, Massachusetts, blew down two billion trees, caused a 50-foot surge of water across Long Island. If that storm had been 60 miles further west with the landfall at the Battery, there would have been 20 feet of water into New York City. He doesn't know what he's talking about, and ever since he shot his mouth off about Katrina, we've seen total global tropical activity go to record low levels. Just because something happens in your backyard two years in a row, it has nothing to do with the total picture. All right, Doctor, you say? First, let's look at what scientists who study this are saying. Uh, four things. We have sea level rise caused by climate change that is making storm surges worse. We also have more severe rains and coastal flooding. And three, we have the situation where uh, sea level rise is happening and it's increasing the storm surge. We have warmer ocean waters powering more powerful hurricanes. And four, when it comes to the frequency of hurricanes, scientists still have a lot of questions. The bottom line is that off the shore of New York region, we have eight to 10 inches higher water levels because of sea level rise. And that could mean a big difference as these shoreline defenses are trying to struggle and keep pace with a storm surge that's arriving from Sandy during a high tide but of the full that moon. Be, could that, as Joe uh, Bistari believes, could that be cyclical doctor? rather than a man-made, uh, you know, fossil fuels in the air situation. I point to El Nino in the Pacific, you know, things happen. Could it be just nature? Absolutely. Natural factors are a major, major driver. But to ignore the factors of climate change, we do that at our peril. Essentially, coastal residents of Florida, they get this. People in New York City, they are studying this. They have climate change action plans. And really, we need our planners to be first responders to climate change. Because if we do not protect our coastal citizens and we ignore climate change, that means we may have insufficient coastal adaptation strategies. Okay. And when I see a storm coming, it makes me now, very Joe, scared. That sounds pretty reasonable, that, that no matter whether it's man-made or cyclical, as you say, uh, just part of the natural cycle of the Earth, that you now have to have a defense system that's different because people living in the coastal regions, and as I do, uh, are at a higher risk. You say? I've been, I've been saying for years that we were returning to the cycle of the 1950s at the Pacific, which by the way is at record-breaking cold levels, how about them apples, the Pacific is cooling, the Atlantic is warming, the Atlantic warm cycle lasts another 10 to 15 years. What aggravates me about these people is Dr. Bill Gray at Colorado State made this prediction in the late 70s that we were going into this very cycle. People laughed at him. Here it comes. The Atlantic's warm, the Pacific's cold, the action shifts to the east coast of the United States like it did in the 1950s for 10 to 15 years, and then we cool the Atlantic and we go back the other way. We're throwing billions and billions of dollars away when people are starving in the streets of this country we're trying to find a ghost that's not there and yet we look at people and our economy's in the tank because of all this all and right. yeah it's aggravating to me because there's no need for it i have to compliment you both very clear and that's the kind of debate